Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about example on bail drive which is specially based on maximum tension and that was asked in university examination. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. A shaft rotating at 200 rpm drives another shaft at 300 rpm and transmits 6 kW through a belt. So to understand the description, let's consider the figure. Here it is the open belt drive and this one is the cross belt drive. Now let's try to understand again the description. A shaft rotating at 200 rpm drives. So let's say this one is the driver. So having rpm 200 drives another shaft at 300 rpm and transmit 6 kilowatt through a belt here you can see the belt is 100 mm wide and 10 mm thick it is like this the belt is 100 mm wide and 10 mm thick the distance between the shaft is 4 meter so here you can see the distance between the shaft that means from O1 to O2 and here you can say this is X. So here X is 4 meter. The smaller pulley is 0.5 meter in diameter. Calculate the stress in the belt. If it is a case of an open belt drive here you can see in this figure and second one if it is a cross belt drive like this. So this is the cross belt drive and this one is the open belt drive. And in both the cases, we have to consider the stress in the belt. So first of all, let's write the data in the symbolic notation. So here it is written a shaft rotating at 200 RPM. So let's say it is N1. Another shaft at 300 rpm, so we can say it is N2 and transmits 6 kW, so that is power, convert it into watt by multiplying simply 1000. The belt is 100 mm wide, so you can say it is the width of the belt, so you can say it is B. Next, 10 mm thick, so you can say thickness T is 10 mm. The distance between the shaft is 4 meter. So here you can see that is X. The smaller pulley is 0.5 meter in diameter. So it is D2. Next calculate the stress in the belt. So we are going to find the sigma in case of open belt drive and in case of cross belt drive. Take mu is equal to 0.3. So here I have written mu is equal to 0.3. That is the coefficient of friction. Already we know that D1 is the diameter of the larger pulley. And so that you can say the speed ratio for the belt drive is N2 upon N1 is equal to D1 upon D2. So this is the speed ratio without considering the slip and creep. So now we have the N1 and N2 and also we have the D2. So put the value over here so that you can find D1. So simplify it so that you can find the D1 that is 0.75 meter. And this D1 that is the diameter of the larger pulley. Next, we know that velocity of the belt that is pi dn upon 60. Here I have used in the equation pi d1 n1 upon 60 but you can write pi d2 n2 upon 60 also. Put the value d1 n1 you have n1 and you have d1 also. So put it over here so that you will get velocity of the belt that is 7.85 meter per second. So this is the velocity of the belt in both the cases open belt drive as well as in the cross belt drive. Now consider the case number 1 and open belt drive. 
So I have written over here case number one open build drive and by considering this case we are going to find the stress in the belt. So let us find the angle of contact first and you know that the angle of contact in case of open belt drive that is always on the smaller pulley. To find the angle of contact you know that theta is equal to 180 minus 2 alpha. So keep in mind in case of open belt drive theta is equal to 180 minus 2 alpha. If it is cross belt drive then it is 180 plus 2 alpha. Now again here you don't know the value of alpha. So again you have to apply this equation alpha is equal to sin inverse in bracket r1 minus r2 upon x. That is in case of open belt drive. If it is the cross belt drive then here it will be plus. So we have d1 and d2 both. So you can find r1 is equal to d1 by 2 and r2 is equal to d by 2. So put it over here. So sin inverse r1 minus r2 divided by x and x is equal to 4 meter. Now simplify it so that you will get the alpha that is 1.8 degree. Now put this value over here. So you can find the theta. So 180 minus 2 as it is alpha is equal to 1.8. So simplify so that you will get theta that is in degree. Now again multiplied by pi by 180 so that you can convert degree into radian. So this is the contact angle in radian in case of open belt drive. Now you know that tension ratio T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta. Now here we have the theta as well as mu. That's why I have applied this equation T1 upon T2 is equal to e raised to mu theta. Now put the value of mu and theta in this equation. Simplify it so that you will get tension ratio T1 upon T2 is equal to 2.52. So let's say this is equation number 1. Next. Again we know that power transmitted that is P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V. Here keep in mind, we have two formula to find the power. One is T1 minus T2 into V and the second one is P is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60. But here we don't know the torque. In this case we have the power as well as the velocity. So that definitely you should apply this equation. So put the value of power as 6000 T1 minus T2 as it is multiplied by velocity that is 7.85. So simplify this equation so that you will get T1 minus T2 that is equal to 764.3 Newton. This is actually effective tension also you can say or net tension. Let's say it is equation number 2. Now look at these two equations. Equation number 1 and 2. So from that you can find the T1 and T2. So now I am going to use this equation as it is. Now from this equation I can say T1 is equal to 2.52 T2. So now put it over here. T1 is equal to 2.52 T2. This T2 as it is, this value as it is. Simplify it. So you can say T2 is equal to 502.83 Newton. So now once you get this T2, then definitely you can find T1 by using this equation. So I will get T1 is equal to 1267.13 Newton. Next. Now you know that maximum tension in the belt that is actually T max. And you know that T max is equal to T1 plus Tc. But here there is no any description about the centrifugal tension so that you can consider Tc is nearly equal to 0. That's why T max is equal to T1. And you know that T max is equal to sigma into B into T. 
Now you have the T1, you have the B and T. So put it over here in this equation. So T1 is equal to 1267.13, sigma is our objective, B is equal to 100 and T is equal to 10 mm. Simplify it so that you will get sigma that is 1.267 Newton per mm square. And that is your first answer. Calculate the stress in the belt in case of open belt drive. So make a box. So now again try to understand. Now look at these steps. It is little bit difficult to remember the steps in sequence. But there is no need to remember the steps in sequence. You see, final objective is to find the stress. And you know that stress sigma that is in this equation only. T max is equal to sigma into B into T. So if you want to find the sigma, then definitely you should find the T max or you can say T1. So again, how you can find T1? In this equation, T1 upon T2 is equal to e raised to mu theta and from this equation also you can find T1. So that you can remember, you should apply this equation and this equation both. So that you can find the T1 minus T2 and from here you can find the tension ratio T1 upon T2. So from these two equations you can find T1 and T2. Now how you can find T1 upon T2 from this equation? So you should find theta and you know that theta is equal to 180 minus 2 alpha but again we don't have the value of alpha so you should apply this equation so this is very simple to remember the steps always you should focus on the final value so here the stress is the final objective and from that you can remember these all steps now in the similar pattern, you can find the stress in case of cross belt drive. So let's see case number two, cross belt drive. This is the pattern for the cross belt drive. Let's find first of all the angle of contact. You know that theta is equal to 180 plus 2 alpha. So very important. Here it is the plus. Because of you know that the length of the cross belt is little bit more than length of open belt drive. So you can remember it should be plus. Now again we don't have the alpha. So you should apply this equation. Alpha is equal to sine inverse R1 plus R2 by X. Now put the value of R1 and R2 both from this D1 and D2. So simplify it. So that you will get alpha. Now put it over here. Alpha so that you can find the theta, very simple. So you will get 198. So this theta that is in degree, so convert it in radian, simply by multiplying pi by 180, simplify it so that you will get theta in radian in case of cross belt drive. Now it is very simple. You know that T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta, Put the value of mu as 0.3 and theta as 3.46. Simplify it so that you will get tension ratio in case of cross belt drive. Let's say it is equation number 3. Now again you know that power transmitted that is P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V so that you will get T1 minus T2 as 764.3 Newton. So simply I can write over here. Now, I can put T1 is equal to 2.82 into T2 in this equation. So, this is very simple. T2 is as it is. This one is also as it is. Simplify it so that you will get T2. That is 420 Newton. Now, once you have the T2, then definitely from this equation you can find T1. So, that is 1184.4 Newton. So this is actually the tight state tension. Now, it is very simple. Maximum tension in the belt that is T max is equal to T1 plus Tc. Again, there is no any description about the centrifugal tension. So that you can say T max is equal to T1. 
and that is equal to sigma into b into t. So now put the value of t1 as 1184.4, sigma is our objective, b is equal to 100, t is equal to 10, simplify it so that you will get sigma. So that is the stress in case of cross belt rib. So this is your answer, so make a box. So my dear friend, it is really so simple problem. Only you have to understand the case number one because of case number two is almost similar to the case number one. Only the formula is different for the open belt drive and cross belt drive, especially in case of theta and in case of alpha. If you have any question, then write in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.